The single most important thing to ensure the accuracy of your report is to make sure that your metrics are mapped correctly. In order to do that, click on your config metrics panel. This is where you will set the definition of spend, clicks, conversions, all these various metrics shown in column two to make sure that they align and are a standardized definition regardless of which platform we're pulling the data from. So for example, let's go into AdWords. Here we can see that we can pick from various different conversions that might be available under the conversions metric. So here we can choose from all conversions or installs and so on. So let's say for that this specific report that we're creating, what we really care about is installs. So let's say that we want to count the number of installs in this column. I can easily track that by renaming this column install conversions and hitting OK. And now I know that for AdWords specifically, the install conversions will always pull from this specific conversion metric, iOS installs for AdWords. Next, I want to go into Facebook and I want to make sure that my install conversions are also correctly feeding into the Facebook metric for conversions. Here I can see from the various different conversion pixels in this list that I'm by default selecting the Facebook offsite conversion, which is not correct. So I would go ahead and look for my install conversion and I can see that I want to pick Facebook mobile app install and select it here. Similarly, I would go into Instagram, go into install conversions, unselect the default selection, and here I would click mobile app install. Great. Now we might want to define a separate type of metric. Say if we want to define another conversion in our conversion path funnel, we can do that by editing the name here, renaming it, and redefining it through the mapping again. Or I can say I want to define the type of click I'm collecting information for. So if I go into clicks, I can see that right now it's link clicks. I'll edit this to say all clicks. And so now instead of just link clicks, I can say social, unique, inline, call to action, website, or instead of all of these, I see that I have all Facebook clicks. Next, I can go into Facebook itself and make the same change. Go into AdWords and I can see that I have two different types of clicks that I can collect. Perfect. And if I hit save and close, now I will know that all of my different clicks that are being captured in this report all mean the same thing and so do my install conversions. Now if I go into my report, since I've saved my mappings, I can see that link clicks here for Instagram, Facebook, AdWords, and all these different platforms mean the exact same thing and so do the install conversions. Next, if I go back to config metrics, I can see that I have a couple of metrics which are dependent on calculating, say like CPC for example, off of all clicks information. So I need to edit the formula to name it after the metric which, for which I've changed the name. So spend divided by all clicks, and all clicks. And here I can validate this information and I can get a result. Same would say like click through rate, which is dependent on the way we've defined clicks and click val validate. And then same for CPA. Since CPA depends on the conversion type, instead of saying like post click conversions or anything like that, we want it to say install conversions. And now we can save and close. So make sure that for each of the columns which you rename that all of the different metrics which are dependent on mapping that also are changed.